We're here with Liam Griffin. He's the competition director at the second annual double pipe. This is one of the most progressive pipe setups out there today, really attempting to evolve what's possible for a pipe competition. Liam, you've been directing pipe contests, working on pipe contests for 15 years. Why have we arrived at this setup here today? Well, I, I think there's there's two kinds of progression that happen in snowboarding. You know, you've got the linear progression of just riders figuring out what they can do with a setup, and then you've got progression where you build something that's never been built before and you see things that haven't been done just because people haven't had the opportunity to do it. And I think in half-pipe snowboarding we've seen a long tradition of linear you know, progression with big leaps, which really came about, about as uh, as a result of equipment, right? When the pipes got bigger, tricks got bigger, it allowed people to do things that you wouldn't have been able to do in a 15-foot pipe. So, I mean, when I started, I think we were doing 18-foot pipes. Then back in 2005 at LOX, we worked with Zog on the first 22-foot machine, did that at the European Open, brought that over to the US Open the next year. And we really saw, you know, people were doing back-to-back 10s -back in an 18-foot pipe, but all of a sudden they looked good in a 22-foot pipe. You know, I remember Danny Davis doing first hit 10 and tail grabs, you know, 20 feet out, and that just wasn't something you were seeing in the smaller pipe. Then once we got to that kind of plateau based on the equipment, you know, things have evolved and the tricks have evolved, but the riding is all just sort of, it's plus one, plus one, like you add a spin, you add a flip. Um, whereas when you do something like this, you, you kind of set the riders back a bit because they're out of their comfort level. They're riding something that they haven't ridden before because it just got finished yesterday. And what people have to do is adapt to the setup and it's not a question of what can what can you do it's what can you do here and how can you figure out how to get from where you start to where you want to finish and hit all the things in between that you want to put in your run so that's where i think it's good to have a, a combination of both Louis, you've been competing in major level events for over a decade. <laughs> How have you seen pipe riding evolve? Oh, it's been crazy, man. I remember like being so stoked doing my first frontside 1080 and then, you know, the back-to-back -back 1080s and then the double corks and then the double corks with extra spinning afterwards. Uh, and now it's pretty fun. Like, it's cool like having some double corks, but now the tricks that I want to work on are, are just unique, creative stuff, you know, you can watch old snowboard movies and get inspired about pipe tricks and the judges are actually paying attention to that and you mix that in with some double corks is the way I hope it's going and the way I see it going you know so I'm pretty pumped on that because if I could only have some of the style that they had back then some of those tweaks are insane. Ben, you're still a relative newcomer to the contest scene, yep. but you've also been around a while. How have you seen pipe riding evolve since you've been competing? Man, it's changed so much. I mean, you look back, I've always watched, like I watched X Games and stuff since I was a little kid and like the Olympics and everything, and it's like gone so far. People are doing gnarlier shit now. People are doing more Switch stuff, like, I mean, Look at Danny, he's doing so much different cool stuff in the half pipe now. And then you got stuff like this where people are taking a half pipe and adding different features or changing it up and it's it's awesome. And yeah, we hear a lot of people saying that sometimes half pipes just kind of degenerated into a spin to win type of thing. But this seems like it's opened up a lot more room for creativity. What are your thoughts on that and where it's going? Yeah, this opens the doors on so many so many options, you know, you got you do like a big air and then you have to channel, you have to go over the spine and try to pull something sick on that and then you get another half pipe hit and then you got the wall ride like after another transfer, it's cool. There's tons of different options, it's mixing it up, everyone's kind of like a little nervous, don't know how to handle it yet which is good, that needs to happen, you know. You can't just have the same comfort zone uh, run all the time, you need some mix up to make it different. You'll see different people win, you'll see different stuff happen, it's rad.